Good afternoon, dear investors. My name is Sergi. On behalf of IFC Markets, I'm pleased to welcome you at the webinar, which is focused on hedging portfolio risks on the US stock market. Today, we consider a method of hedging based on PCI Juworka model. For a start, a brief explanation of the method will be provided. At the second stage, we'll move on to the example of portfolio composed on the basis of Dow Jones Industrial Average. The choice will be provided by fundamental analysis. In conclusion, we'll develop the set criteria, diversification, financial independence and focus on the US domestic market. Each company will be considered separately in terms of financial statements. Finally, we'll reveal how to create a portfolio outperforming the market. A pattern will be presented for you to be able to determine the best weight for each asset. The last stage is the portfolio stress test during the financial crisis of 2008-2009. You will be surprised to find no profitability slump at the most critical crisis stage. So, what's hedging? Portfolio hedging is a set of methods aimed at cutting investment risks using derivatives, inverse ETFs, futures, CFDs. One of the hedging objectives is to achieve a market-neutral portfolio, that is, independence of portfolio returns from the market direction. It means that the index decline may cause positive or zero growth portfolio returns. Hedging formula is represented on the slide as a quoted fraction. Do you have any idea about the exchange rate of euros with franc? So, imagine that hedge an exchange rate which is based on the classic portfolio and the corresponding stock index. The portfolio is quoted in the index units. Buying a hedge means buying the portfolio and selling the index at the same time, and vice versa. Selling the index may be carried out by selling a CFD on index, buying an inverse ETF a futures contract and others. In this slide show, we consider a CFD on index. Let's start from the very beginning. We need an index and a promising market segment to illustrate the example. Right, the hedge is almost independent of market situation, but don't forget that this is an ideal case. In fact, the hedge allows an investor to look in one direction. The market is rising, the same does your portfolio. The market is falling, the portfolio is rising, but it is less noticeable in practice. That is why it is recommended that the choice of your market engine should be handled with utmost care. Why the do? First of all, US markets show the highest recovery rates, 3.4% while the global rate of 2.7%. Historically, policies introduced in several countries of the European Union have resulted in a high unemployment rate, 11% in 2013. In this regard, the focus of the US markets has a number of vulnerabilities. The European Union is the closest US partner, it provides more than 60% of exports. The second jeopardy is the QE completion, which leads to the US currency strengthening. Major exporters are the first ones to be affected. To sum up, we would like to create a portfolio which outperforms the market. Thus, the assets included in the portfolio must be insured with the risk hedging mentioned above. We have defined a number of criteria. First of all, it is the domestic market focus. We don't need any major exporters. Secondly, the financial independence of companies and a low loan burden. As the rate hike is possible to happen, we don't need these risks. Finally, the diversification. This natural criterion is common for any portfolio. The following assets have been selected based on the proposed criteria. The number one nominee is the retailer Home Depot. 2,264 stores in the US and Mexico, up to 40,000 items. This is more than a sufficient consumer diversification. The company's operating profit in the fourth quarter rose 14.5%. United Health Group is an insurance and healthcare company. The main activities are carried out in the United States. United Healthcare coverage participates in the largest US public health programs, Medicare and Medicaid. United Health Group caters for 85 million clients. The company includes five business segments – employer and individual, Medicare and retirement, community and state, and international. They differ in insurance plans and types of insured individuals. Visa Visa is a global payments technology company, which provides access to electronic payments in more than 200 countries worldwide. The number of Visa accounts reached 2.13 billion. The company's earnings are generated by four business segments. 
American Express is an international payments company and also one of the world's largest card issuers. The company's earnings are based on the percentage profits and commissions generated by four business segments. The distribution of American Express revenues, according to geography and business segments from the annual financial statement of 2013, is represented below. Walt Disney is an international entertainment company. Its revenues are based on five business segments – media networks, parks and resorts, studio entertainment, Disney consumer products, interactive media, video and online for the computer games. The distribution of Walt Disney revenues according to geography and business segments from the annual financial statement of 2013 is represented below. The cost of portfolio spread may be expressed by relative asset weights of the base portfolio. The top part of the fraction represents the relative capital share invested in a portfolio of stocks. The portfolio spread value is expressed in relative units. The general objective of rational portfolio optimization is to choose weights in such a manner that the reward-risk ratio of the hedge would be maximized. This slide show is using the capital asset pricing model invented by William Sharp. Investment appeal of the portfolio is determined by the average return of an instrument on the selected price history volume. Variance of time series is used for risk assessment. Unlike the expanded model, the original one doesn't consider the absolute return of the 5 asset a portfolio, but it is focused on relative return of the portfolio spread based on PCI de worker. The yield is calculated in relative units based on the price ratio of two portfolios, one of which is an index. The risk-reward ratio obtained in this manner, that is sharp ratio, is a functional relation of weights. If we consider two assets, the function is defined by the surface. An example of such a surface is shown on the figure. The surface peak determines the right portfolio. If we consider a larger number of assets, weights are chosen by the program, the peak finding objective. A program based on MATLAB language was composed in order to build a demo portfolio. The optimization result is represented on this slide. The largest weights go to the Walt Disney Company, so we have the right to call our portfolio entertainer. The great history of the instrument is created in NetTrader's trading terminal. The terminal also allows executing any deals based on this instrument. The weekly opening and closing prices are shown as candlesticks on the chart. The historical period from March 29 till October 2014 is used for the basket optimization. The period from June 2012 till November 2014 is chosen for the price historical volume. The base portfolio outpays consistently the market index. The ratio of the accumulated yield to the maximal drawdown accounted for 36 per 6, which can be considered very attractive for the two-year horizon. What is the safety advantage of the Jaworka model? Investment risks are defined by market systemic and individual risks. When composing a classical portfolio, individual risks are reduced by diversification. The investor is not immune to the market collapse at the industry crisis result, for example, dot-com bubble, or overall economic crisis in 2008-2009. Arbitrage trading models are used to mitigate market risks. In this case, two closer related assets which belong to the same market segment are opposed, for example, your Swiss franc, Google Apple. With the right choice of volumes, the market crash doesn't affect the price of a two-asset instrument, but diversification is lost and individual risks are not hedged. We propose to combine two approaches with the help of the work method and consider the portfolio spread based on CAPM. In this case, both individual and systemic risks are taken into account. This slide represents percentage graphs of Dow Jones Industrial Index and the hedge portfolio. The price history is examined starting from the 1st of January 2007. We can see that since the crisis began, the product's yield was not affected seriously. The index dropped to the lowest level in March, losing 46% of its value. The remarkable thing is that composite product added 0.3% during the same period, and in fact allowed investors to keep their money, despite the world financial crisis peak. As the US market is recovering, the composite instrument has entered the rapid growth stage. The PCI basket has surged 24% since January 2007, while the Dow Jones Industrial hasn't recovered, still showing losses of 60%. The PCI recovery started six months earlier than the market recovery. Lows began rising in November 2008, 
that is, in the midst of global financial crisis. The DGI recovery started only in March of 2009. Considering the stress test, we can conclude that the portfolio spread allowed investors to hedge market risks effectively, while maintaining profit during the crisis time. Let's sum up. We built a portfolio arbitrage instrument based on quoting a portfolio composed of five DGI stocks against the index itself. Second, investing in instrument is performed by index CFD selling and stock gainers purchasing. In this manner, the risk of the selected market segment crash is reduced. Third, portfolio hedge was consistently outpacing the market for two years, with an average yield of 14% and the top drawdown of 60%. Fourth, the instrument passed a stress test in March of 2009. The yield dropped only 0.3% in the midst of crisis, while Dow Jones lost 46%. 5. The hedge recovery began six months earlier than the market recovery. And 6. Portfolio hedging reduced market systemic risks, maintaining the portfolio diversification. As a result, investors keep a profitable portfolio during the times of economic recession and have a profit above the market level at the recovery period. Dear investors, if you have any questions left, please feel free to ask them in the comments below the video or send them by email. You may also contact me in our English Interface Facebook group. You can find more details about your worker method on our website ifcmarkets.com. Thank you for your attention.